and thank you for watching. On today's show, did you just get your brand new Alpine ILX 107 and you wish you could watch movies on it from your phone? Well, today we're going to show you how, so stay tuned. The new ILX 107 doesn't come with any HDMI input, but it does have an auxiliary input. So that means you can add the media links. That's right. The media links is an RCA to HDMI cable. This will allow you to take any auxiliary input, not just Alpines, and give you an HDMI input. Today, we're going to show you how to do that on your ILX. First thing to note is on the back of the ILX is this guy right here. This is your backup camera input as well as your auxiliary and your iData connection. This is the cable you want to connect to. What you want to do is connect here. Now, this is an aux jack and this is an RCA. So you're going to need an aux to RCA converter. In the owner's manual for the Alpine, it tells you the pin configuration that you need to go from this to RCAs. We'll save you the headache and go ahead and pick yourself up a Kenwood CAC3AV auxiliary to RCA adapter. It's pinned perfect for what you're trying to do. There's tons of them online that are eighth inch to RCAs. Very few of them actually work. Alpine even warns you in the manual that it is not a standard pin configuration. What you want to do is plug it in like so, make sure it snaps in, and then of course plug it into the back of the radio. Now you have your RCA input. Go ahead and plug in your red, your white, and your yellow. Now you have the HDMI input that most phones have some form of connection capability. That's where the gray area comes in. Depending on the type of phone you have is going to be how this works. There's tons of different connections. If you have an iPhone, you need an HDMI to lightning adapter. And then there's several to choose from for Android. If you have the latest Android phone that has a USB-C style connection, you need a USB-C to HDMI adapter. It's very similar to this, just it's for Android. If you have a little bit older phone, you could use something like Mirrorcast, like this dongle from Belkin. It is a wireless alternative, but doesn't work on most of the newer phones. It's starting to go away from that. If you have an even older phone, you may need an MHL to HDMI adapter, but those are becoming few and far between. What you wanna do is do a little research, find out which connection type your Android phone needs. Another thing to do too, is test it before you actually get to this point. If you could plug it into your TV and get it to play, you'll be able to plug it into this and get it to play. For this demonstration, we're gonna go ahead and use the lightning adapter. We're gonna take an HDMI, go ahead and plug it into this input, and we're gonna go ahead and plug into our lightning connector. We'll go ahead and plug it in the phone. So if you're on your home page, go ahead and select auxiliary, and there you go. Now you're displaying your phone. Displaying your phone, you can't actually touch this, but you can do anything you want on your phone. So if you want to watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, but you don't have to just use it for videos. It'll display anything that's on your phone. So if you want to use your favorite navigation app, you can go ahead and do that. Now the screen is an 800 by 480, so that's as good as it's going to get. Some, if you're looking really close, it might be a little fuzzy. That's just how it is because it's not 1080 and it has no way to upscale or downscale to it. The other thing to keep in mind is when you're streaming video from certain providers, the phone is on all the time as well. Even though you're watching it in your screen, you also have it happening in the phone sitting in the center console as well. A lot of you guys just want the ability to do it this is how you do it. All right, Fernando, bring this one home. All right, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. Um, you guys can find us on Facebook, here in YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. You can pretty much find us anywhere. And as usual, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great night, and we'll see you later next time. Bye.